Hi friends, it's Amy and I'm your sewing teacher. Welcome to this week's video. This week's video is about comparing buying your sewing notions from China using wish.com or amazon.ca. Now the amazon.ca, if you're in the States, would obviously be amazon.com. I wanted to let you know that the American dollar to Canadian dollar today is a dollar American for every a dollar and a quarter Canadian. So if you're watching from the States, this will give you an indication as to which is cheaper, Wish or Amazon, but you might have to do a little bit of math to convert your dollars. So I have a whole bunch of things that I purchased from Wish.com. The first thing that I want to talk about today are the purchases that I made in regards to um, machine feet. Feet are expensive, and especially if it's for a specific type of machine. Now, I have three machines. Um, I have three machines that I use in my daily practice. I do have a fourth backup machine um, that is a regular domestic, but I have a walking foot industrial machine that is for leather and upholstery. And so uh, I purchased a very small footed, you can see it is very tiny foot and it is a walking foot. So it goes side by side like this. Um, and I purchased this walking foot. I'll show you a little picture here. So here, there's a little picture coming. Um, <laughs> and that, um, and this is a very expensive foot. If I were to buy this directly from the manufacturer of the industrial machine, I would be paying upwards of $80 for this foot. I purchased this industrial walking foot from wish.com for $7.60 plus a shipping rate of $4. If I were to buy this from Amazon, it would be $12.99. So in fact, I didn't save any money buying this from wish.com. I could have gotten this for the same price, if not a little bit cheaper from Amazon. Now it's cheaper for me because I do have a Prime membership, so my shipping is usually covered. Um, as long as it is one of the things that is um, distributed by Amazon. If it is an, an overseas company and it's not distributed by Amazon, then it would cost you an extra shipping charge. Is this a win? I think that it is a win because it's way cheaper than if I had bought it on the um, manufacturer's website, but I could have bought this at, on Amazon or on Wish and it would be practically the same amount of money. So I purchased other feet also um, beyond the industrial machine. Now I have two domestic machines that I work with. One is an embroidery and sewing machine. That one is a high shank machine. What that means is that I measured from the top, from the, on the shaft of the machine where the foot is at the bottom, I measured to the screw and that is one and a quarter. So one and a quarter inches from the foot to the screw is a high shank machine. If you had a low shank machine, the low shank would be about three quarters of an inch from the foot to the screw. I have purchased high shank feet this time. I purchased two feet. I, one is a Teflon zipper foot. Now a Teflon foot, you can see here it is, it is white. It has a Teflon base across the bottom. And the Teflon is something that runs smoother over leathers and vinyl and faux leathers, and it will prevent it from sticking. Um, whereas on a regular metal foot, it, it might stick. So we use a Teflon machine. There are all sorts of hacks you can use instead of buying the, the Teflon foot, but the Teflon foot works best. So I purchased a high shank zipper Teflon foot from wish.com and I paid $7.99 for two. So they sent me two of these little zipper feet. So for two of the Teflon feet, I paid $7.99 plus $2 for two of them from wish.com. And they are amazon.ca $12.99. And again, because of my prime, no shipping. So I won on that, on that transaction. And the next one is just a regular zipper foot. And I'll again, put a picture up of this. This one says a regular zipper foot for a high shank, a high shank machine. This one I also paid $7.99 on wish.com for plus the $2 shipping. And this one 
I could get on Amazon for $7.99 with no shipping because I've already paid for my Prime shipping. So I didn't win on this one. Now the quality of those three feet so far, the quality of these three feet are the same type of quality as if I had purchased this from directly from the machine manufacturer. So these do not feel flimsy in any way. They fit my machine fantastically. I put them on the machine and I've used them all. And if even the Teflon is smooth and everything works well with it. So I am very pleased at the at the fact that I was able to get those at a very deep discount from buying them overseas than buying them from the from the domestic machine maker. Now this this foot I've never been able to find this foot from the from the Janome brand. So I have a Janome machine and I often look at their feet first just A to see the cost and to see what they have. And I was unable to find this. This is an invisible zipper foot. And this one is just a snap-on foot. You can see that you actually snap it on to the existing shank. And I'll put a picture of it, see what it looks like. And this is an, in, an invisible foot. So when you use the invisible zipper, it allows you to sew very, very close to the teeth. And then when you put your zipper in, it hides the zipper in the fold of the seam. Now this one I purchased from wish.com for $6.80 plus $2 shipping. And you can buy it from amazon.ca for $9.99. So again, I saved myself about a dollar for this one. And the last thing in regards to feet, and this isn't a foot, but this is something that will help you in your practice. And this is a magnetic seam guide. And this bottom, so you see it's got a heavy duty magnet on it and it sits right on the magnet plate on your machine and allows you to create a seam allowance that you can run your fabric on. So if this is, let's see if I can do this for you, seam allowance and I put my fabric in, I can cr now create the seam allowance depth that I want and it doesn't move, so it allows that seam allowance to always be perfect, which is really great for things like top stitching because you want to not waver in your top stitch. You want your top stitch to be really nice. So I would recommend one of these. This was $5.40 plus $2 shipping on wish.com, and on Amazon it's $12.99 with no shipping. So again, uh, this was cheaper on wish.com. The next thing I wanna talk about is a quarter inch wash away quilting tape. Now I use this tape, this is two-sided tape or double-sided tape, um, DST is what the short form of this is. And for quilters or for people who make bags, these are just <laughs> so important to help you keep everything straight. Um, I started to use these for zippers and my zippers never moved and it was fantastic. Now I do a lot of sewing of bags using a vinyl leatherette and leather, and I find it indispensable to use this um, quarter inch wash away tape. And because I'm using the quarter inch, um, it's not really impeding in the seam allowance. Also, because it's not just double-sided tape, it doesn't bung up the needle. So I don't have to worry about uh, the adhesive becoming an issue. I want to show you the difference of what you get when you shop at wish.com versus when you shop for this on Amazon. Now this is the Amazon brand. The Amazon, it, it is generic. It is not the Sewing Notion brand. Um, and this is the size of the roll of quarter inch tape that you get. On Amazon, you're buying, well, I bought four rolls. And on Wish, this is the size. So this is the Wish size. This is the Amazon size, okay? And I got four of these, and I got three of these. So the difference of how much I got, four of these versus three of these, they're the same width. They're the same product. Different brands, but they are the same product. So three rolls on Wish, so three of these on Wish was $11 plus $2 shipping and handling. So we're looking at $14, okay? These four, there are four of these, 
and there's obviously way more here than here okay this was this was $13 these ones from Amazon were $14 so you can see the difference with how much you're getting this is the better deal it's exactly the same product but this is the better deal so go with Amazon for that one so what do I want to talk about next oh I should have talked about this when I talked about the feet okay so I have a cover stitch machine that I'm purchasing used coming soon and I wanted to have what's called a bias tape foot attachment now this is a double fold and if you don't already know but well most of you will know that bias tape is the um, cotton or knit fabric that go that folds over seams and makes them pretty um, it also can help with necklines on t-shirts and other knit products so this is a very expensive attachment if you are buying it from the sewing machine manufacturer so this is the cover pro double fold bias attachment I paid $24 plus $7 so $31 on wish.com for this this is exactly the same as the one I would purchase off of Amazon for $42.69 now if I were to purchase this attachment from the sewing machine company I'd be paying upwards of a hundred to two hundred dollars but again $31 with shipping included versus the Amazon $42.69 and, and it's exactly the same. So I'm very happy with this. So I can't wait to use it. Now I mentioned earlier that I do a lot of work with vinyl and uh, faux leather. So I purchased some faux leather this time around from Wish and from Amazon to see if there was a difference in the quality um, as well as the price. So I purchased this beautiful assortment of pinks and whites, you can see, and they are all fleece backed. So they have some weight to them. They're not heavy weight. I will have to interface them when I'm using them, but they are definitely very pretty and there are eight of them and this is the seven and a half by 11 size that's from wish and i bought that for 23 plus six dollars shipping so for 29 dollars. that was eight pieces now this set is fine glitter there's no chunky glitter and there's no different types of glitter they're all the same and they're beautiful vibrant colors they do feel a little bit thinner and they aren't flannel back they are woven back so there's a woven material on the back and you can see it actually flips a little bit more so this will need a thicker interfacing and you can see it's very beautiful and the colors are very beautiful um, and i got 10 of them same size i got 10 of those on amazon.ca for 15 dollars and 90 99 cents now this is great i still have to pay more for the thicker interfacing um, but it was significantly cheaper so the fact that it was almost half price for a couple extra sheets as well then um, i will have the money to pay for the heavier interfacing i do enjoy that it's all different types of of glitter and glamour and that will also come in handy so I think it's really what you're looking for um, as to um, whether you would purchase this from wish.com or from um, Amazon now I have decided that I'm actually not going to buy my my vinyl or my leather from either of those um, in the United States there are so many um, custom print small business fabric shops online where you can get beautifully printed vinyls. And there are not very many companies in Canada that I know that print vinyl. I have found a few and I have just started to order from them. And I do see that there is a very big difference in the weight of the vinyl that's coming from these custom printers, from the, from the small fabric companies, than from 
the production of China. So very big difference. It's better quality vinyl and it's supporting a small business. So I'm going to be buying my vinyls in, in full leather from um, a small business. And I'm going to try to find something local to Canada um, because that, that's important to me. As well. Now, I, because I'm working with leather and vinyl, cutting is really important to, and important for it to be precise. I do, so I purchased a screw punch. And this screw punch is kind of like an assorted screwdriver you screw off the bottom and you put the um, hole size that you want in the bottom of it I'll put a picture here for you so you can see it and it's like a, a, it's just a precise hole and, and you tap it with your hammer and it cuts the hole so so the punch this punch was $17 total from wish.com and from Amazon it was $19.89 so I saved some money for that and the last thing I wanted to show you today, these are leather cutters. They're, they're the half circle leather cutters. And I got a set of seven of them. Um, I'll show you a picture here. Um, the one thing though that I wanted to share with you, when I look at pictures of this on Amazon, they look clean. The one thing about these that came is that they look like they've just come off the machine. I'm gonna have to scrub these because there's some machining debris and if I run my fingers on this you can see how dirty my finger gets so that means that I'm going to have issues with getting my fabric and my vinyl and my faux leather and my leather dirty and I don't want to do that but it is important to have precise cutting so I do need these cutters and I, the cutters the set that I got goes from this um, one and a quarter inch to this little tiny one. I don't know that you could see that, but, and I'll show you a picture. And other than the fact that they're dirty and they need to be cleaned because um, of the machining dirt still, um, they work really well. I've already cut some um, scrap leather with them and they're excellent. With the set of seven half, half circle cutters, that one was $31 from wish.com and $27.99 from Amazon. So it would have been cheaper to buy that from Amazon. Amazon with the uh, prime shipping covered. I wanna thank you very much for joining me this week. I know that this is a great sewing journey. It could be my students, it could be my children, it could be mine but it's definitely your sewing journey. And I wanna thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you next Sunday. Have a great week.